Send your mum and daddy out of the room. Your eyes do not deceive you. My name is Mr. Halligan, and welcome to Straya. It is usually my policy to finish one game before beginning to play another. But I could not wait on this one. I couldn't believe it existed. Um, the screenshots showed that there was a lot of effort involved. And so I'm going into this quite blind. So first things first, how is the sound coming through on your guys' side of things? This is a even rawer, more raw let's play than I think we're accustomed to because essentially I got my screen adjusted and now we are getting into this. I had to know. I had to know what this was like. And fortunately, someone was able to set me up with a copy, so thank you for that, person who wishes to remain anonymous. I'm glad I'm coming through. How's the game sound? Not too loud? I guess we can adjust as we go. I don't want to deafen anyone the second I start firing guns. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I have my limited edition steak and onion barbecue flavored crisps. I got a hard solo while I still can. And I'm very curious to see what they get right, if they get anything wrong. This is a subject quite close to my heart. And uh, unfortunately that means you will also hear my attempts at Australian accent through all of this. Okay, so let me know if the sound needs adjusting. I'll try and keep my eye on chat. Let's get to it. I am very excited about this. It, uh, it looks like a passion project. I can tell you sound design alone already very impressive. Not so much the kookaburra, although that is cool. It's the sound of the parakeets flying overhead. Sorry, the lorikeets flying overhead. That sound is so endemic, so well recreated here, that I genuinely wasn't sure whether it was in the game or just happening outside my window. So, very well gone on that. Let's get to it. Welcome, Cobbers. Bonza days are here again. Meat pie. Let's start a new game. Nothing else to it. The King Brown Snake is common and highly venomous. Always carrying the venom. Yeah, super good advice. Okay, having audio off, you're not going to get much, but uh, see how you go anyways. Thank you for joining us. Ooh, this is exciting. Looks like the Murray Darling Catchment. I understand this game is set in the 60s, so there will be some differences. But uh, I'll try and inform you about anything that's accurate or not. Hello, Max. Thank you for joining us. Oh, so, you're finally awake. Ah. Right hand drive, the way it should be. Very nice. No point having a windscreen, just going to be covered in bugs. In the late 1960s, before crocodile hunting was banned, the government had bounties on many animals. Some native to the land, some not. But during this time, many made a living by hunting. Some of the most brave or foolish saltwater crocodile. Whew. The most aggressive crop. Whoa. No argument. Australia. The land of wonder and opportunity. To be bitten, poisoned, ripped, killed, and probably eaten by nearly earth in the foods. It's a harsh but beautiful land. The land down under. Yeah, looks like a little icon, if something can see me. 
So there's going to be a little bit of a sneak mechanic in this. I'm going to warn you guys in advance. I'm already bad at games. And this one's set in Australia. So I'm going to die a lot. You have traveled to the outback to take work at the local pub. See the publican to get started. And return here to get more jobs for cash. You explore the land freely. But you'll need cash to buy supplies and equipment. There are many ways to earn cash, but... Some jobs can only be found by completing jobs. You can use a phone box to call in for new jobs if you're out and about, or call b for a lift back to the pub, but you'll need to pay for it. 50 bucks for the downtime. Yep, no worries. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm probably playing on normal mode. Starting equipment is great and all, but I am a huge scrub, so no sense in me dying more than I would be anyways. I'm just going to open up my can of hard solo now. Better get that sound out of the way. There we go. Right, let's do it to it. Got a little icon there. We've got three bars. Uh, look forward to finding what those are. That's cool. Instructions should all be... This is a pretty nice looking town, honestly. I've been to places that look like this. Oh! They got a barra above the bar. That's a barra Monday, I think. That's pretty impressive. Nice. Ah, <laughs> constant fly sound in my ears. Um, I don't know if it's a horror FPS, but it's definitely got danger elements. I understand it's meant to be a bit like Stalker, which is why I called it Corker. Corker being Australian for a great joke, a good yarn. Ah, that's... Or just something that's good in general. Like, you gotta try this. It's a corker. You know, it sounds like stalker. Because, you know, corker and stalker sound the same with that accent. Alright, okay. Talking to the guy at the pub. That is... That's the look. Arms, like a shaved chimp. And that weird sort of rangy thing where you can't tell if they're near death or really tough. But facially, I went to school with someone who looked exactly like this. Like, exactly. That's just how he looked. Welcome to the Outback. <laughs> Here's 50 bucks for coming to Australia. Good deal. Oh, my blue bar's disappearing. I can stay in the shed over the road? Hot damn, accommodation already. I like it. We'll find out who you are later, but... So far, none of the sounds are deafening. Everyone can hear, like, the bird sounds and whatnot. Oh, he said hooroo to say goodbye. You have to think, oh. I got the running hands, that's good. I got a shed I can stay in, that's cool. Ooh. Fancy accommodation here. Okay, let's check my menu here. Oh. Not carrying anything, that's fine. I got a water bottle. Whoop. That I just used. I would have refilled my blue bar. So I guess blue bar equals water. I've had to forklift these things before, so I'm wondering... Hey! I got a spot to refill my water. That's cool. Okay, okay. You know, these red toolboxes used to be everywhere. I still have one exactly like this, but I inherited it from my grandfather. You don't see them that much these days. Bandage? Yeah, good start. I'll take it. Some fuel? Get down. Alright. Generous game. Alright. Alright. I. It's pretty good. Store tucker in the fridge. Alright, don't shoot the chickens. Pay a couple of bucks for catching chickens. Okay. Cool. Man, I mean, I got water. That's a pretty nice bed. Bunch of canned vegetables. I'm down. Portable heater. Yeah, nice. Got my swag there. I already got some stuff in here. Let's see. It looks like a witchetty grub, I reckon. Yeah, we got witchy groves, kakadu plums, tea trees. Uh, I don't know what those are for yet. That's cool though. 
Witchy grubs are really good. Um, I advise eating them cooked. Not... Oh, sorry. Whew. Hit of nostalgia seeing the old $1 bill. My God. Huh. We were using coins for much of my life, but... Yeah, I still, I still like folding low, low coins. Okay. Crouch Macaque. Okay, it's not control. It's C. Oh. Patrician tastes for this game. Alright, so i got to catch chickens or something, right? Ah, get to my water quickly. Better refill with frequency. Oh, that's the gate sound. That's correct. Tell you, I'm not going to be out here at night, that's for sure. Alright, back to the pub, I guess. Oof, I run really fast. Yeah, nah, it feels... It does indeed feel like home. <laughs> they did well to source these voices, because i got to tell you, uh, except on the East Coast, that sort of accent's sort of dying out. Say good day to the doc. You paying me ten bucks to say hi to someone? <laughs> Damn. That's the doc. Cool. Of course he's the doc. He's gotten esky. I look forward to finding out what sort of medicine you have. Okay, bandages. Anti-venom. Always carry bandages. Yeah, no, good advice. Mozzie guard. Now, here's the thing. Is the mozzie guard here going to be error guard? Or the improved mozzie guard? Famous to Australia. Okay, I'm already carrying a fair bit of money, but... Okay, it's only 30 bucks for anti-venom. And it health goes up by 30? That's a steal, man. Yeah, because it's basically a health kit anyways. I'm already carrying a bandage. I'll get a bonzer bandage. And let's get some mozzie repellent. Slightly modified. Oh, does that mean what I think it means? Slow health regen, all right. Stamina regen. I'll grab one of those. Yeah. Because I'm making money pretty quick. Oh, I don't have any weapons yet, though. Shit. Oh, unless... Unless... Ah, oh, it is the mozzie guard I thought it was. It's the mozzie guard plus a candle. Foosh. Now we're talking. Oh, wait. What next? Oh. Back to the pub. Uh, unequipped for now? Can't seem to... Like, if I got it, I'm just carrying it the whole time. Okay, okay, so what's next? How's it going, mate? It's going great, mate. Find the keys. Bloody magpie stole the keys again. See if you can find them. Yep. Done deal. Keep an eye out for those magpies. Here's the thing. I understand the reputation the magpies have, but... Oh, I'm in the long grass. It's officially time to wash my ass. Whoops, there's a ladder. That'll work. E on the ladder? Oh, nice. Ah, uh, but see, I understand the reputation magpies have, but here's the thing. They are really smart. They have a beautiful song. And, like, they're so interesting. They, like, honor their dead and things like that. They have little magpie funerals. And here's the thing. If you're good with them, they'll generally be good for you because they, they live a long time and they're pretty smart. I, most members of my family at some stage have rescued a magpie or, like, looked, looked after magpies. Never get swooped. Doesn't matter if I'm in their territory or... If it's, like, breeding season. Never, ever get swooped by magpies. They just sort of know. They know, hey, this guy did good by us, we'll do good by him. Like, they're incredible creatures. I understand I'm going to have to probably attack some of them in-game. That's the only thing I'm not really okay with. But I will still do it, because it's just a game. Oh, burning through my stamina, burning through my water. Whoop, someone can see me. What can see me? Or something trying to attack me. Jesus. The big reds. 
You know how, like, some creatures, like, instinctively, like, go for your midsection because they want to eat your organs? Or, like, the way how monkeys pull your eyes out? The Big Red's first instinct is to kick you in the dick so hard it rips your bollocks off. Not even kidding. Okay, you can use the vehicle crawler. Okay, that's cool. Get a lift. Eh. Okay, I need to purchase properties. Cool, cool. This feels a little bit Far Cry-ish to me. Like, Aussie Far Cry, Aussie Stalker, more than a horror game, but I'm cool with that. Uh, oh, we can drive. Uh, gotta repair it with a repair kit. Gotta have fuel. Okay, this is great. So there's gonna be cars in this game. Oh, man. Hey, all my water and stamina is replenished. That's cool. Oh, talk to the pub guy at the pub again. Good day. I'll advance your pace so you can grab a shotgun and some ammo. Whoa! Right to it. He's over near the pipeworks. Alright. Alright, cool. What's your story, fella? Whoa. Good voice acting. Oh, can't talk to him. Alright. Oh, so someday I'll be able to play darts. That's cool. Uh, this is a nice bit of accuracy for the 60s. Cigarette trays everywhere. Yeah. Ah! Is that... Oh, you can play two up. Uh, yeah, I'll bet. A little. Now, toss the coins. Yeah, I'm not going to try again. Two up for when you can't be bothered f tossing a coin yourself and you want to ruin a perfectly good ruler. Eh, it's still pretty fun. All right. Uh... I now know there's ruse out there, and I don't... Oh, I'll tell you what, though. I'm just going to re-equip my mozzie guard. I don't know if it'll stop a ruse, but... It may discourage them. I think I already see where the fear in this game comes from, because it's so open. Like, the creatures could just be up on you in no time. Who knows? It could come from anywhere. In the long grass, or... Who knows what? Anyway, to the pipe shed. Jesus. You really feel like you could be attacked from any angle. Alright, let's get a real ridgy ditch gun. Okay. Oh, the belt pouch would sound like a pretty good idea. Here's the thing, though. Do I get a shotgun? I mean, he's advanced me this money, but I don't actually think it's the best weapon, right? What do we got? Oh. The six shoot is pretty nice. Wait, what's this? Okay. Chat? Am I missing this? Or... Oh, yeah. The, the enemies could absolutely come from above. If there's, if there's magpies or large mosquitoes in this game, yeah, no, they could come from any direction. Like, any direction but, like, underneath you. Because I don't think they're incorporating hoop snakes or graboids yet. Technically, I could afford the rifle. Uh, sawn off shotgun. An SLR, that's a really nice touch. Can't afford it yet, but that is definitely worth saving for. Okay, apparently, we're getting some Melbourne weather. Very nice. Shotgun. Well, if it's what they advise. Yeah, yeah, let's get a shotgun. Add to backpack. Ooh. Yeah, buy a shotgun. I'll buy a... Uh... Ah! Torch batteries. What did I say in the previous stream? It's a torch. Torch batteries. Let's grab some belt pouches. I have a feeling I'll make my money back, so... I guess I can go hunting with this guy later. That's cool. Alright, let's check the old inventory now. How are we looking? Okay, let's... get the pump action... equipped. Um... Got a fair bit of ammo for it. 
gonna keep... Let's keep the anti-venom handy. And let's keep the bandage handy. Yeah. We're gonna have belt pouches like that. Okay, okay. Horse. Let's see what it is. Okay, yeah, tea trees, I recognize those. Goat's foot, sure. Witchy grubs, hold it. Emu bush, sure. Kakadu plums, very nice. Paturity, yep. And snake vine, less familiar with that. That's fine. Okay, got me a shoddy, why not? And I now have quick access health items, I like that. Does make me worry that I'm getting such a good weapon so early, but uh, I guess we'll see how good it is. And just like that, the storm's already over. But now I'm nervous to move between buildings, which I think is what they had in mind. Like, there's just... They're already throwing big reds at me. They had one just go past... I guess the indicator will be if I see the red eye appear on my hut, it means that, uh, means that an animal spotted me and is going for me. Ooh. Right, Mike. Get it, eh? Alright. Ethel next door stands over with their TV reception. She's real keen to watch the footy. Oh, I don't want someone missing the footy. Antenna probably needs a wiggle. Dig it. 50 bucks. Jump up onto the... Oh, really? How high can I jump in this game? Oh, don't shoot the chickens. None of that. You can jump to ledges and grab on things depending on how high they are. Yeah, I believe that. Get away from snakes and whatnot. Whoa! I got a king jump. My god. Whoa! No, not that time. I see. It's meant to be me lifting myself. Well, something spotted me, but what? God, if I get paid to catch them chickens, I can make money real quick. Okay. Huh. Come on. Okay. I'm having a game journalist moment. Do I need to put my stuff away? Is that it? Is it that my hands are full? Am I not close enough to the edge? That's embarrassing. Oh, God! Why did that hurt so much? It didn't hurt the last few times. Oh, I didn't actually take any health damage from it. This? Guys, what am I doing wrong? I need to get up onto that roof, right? Why isn't it? Why can't I do it? I don't get it. I don't get it. Is it because I'm holding stuff? That can't be right. I, did, I climbed up earlier. It wasn't while holding stuff. Is it the wrong angle? Was that it? Guys, help. What? What is going wrong? It... Okay, made it that time. Okay, gotta wiggle the antenna, right? Just... Hey! Sounds like Royce is having a win. That will mean Royce Hart. A famous Australian rules football player. Uh, he played in the VFL before there was a big merger there. Don't know much about Royce Hart. Oh, I believe. You can hear him on the TV. AFL's coming through on the TV. That's, that's a nice touch. Royce Hart, his career started off like a little shaky and then it was like amazing. He innovated a new kicking style. And then... He went into coaching for a bit. He gave the Western Bulldogs, back when they were still called Footscray, uh, one of their worst seasons. Not even kidding. Like, oh, I think it was something like five wins to 74 losses or something. Royce Hart. Ooh, eight bucks. Royce Hart would go on to make one of the first ghost-written sports autobiographies, which was not common at the time and caused kind of a controversy. Um, but he was kind of important towards the sport because he later campaigned for the fact that they weren't really paid like professionals 
And he saw all these young people putting their lives on the line for the sport and like not getting anywhere and then getting injured. And then they would be like, you know, 27 years old, no training, a bunch of head injuries or whatnot, not really being compensated for the time they were in the sport. And so he was like, nope, we need to make this sport professional. Let's get some unions together. So, I mean, 1960s Australian, I don't doubt he probably had some bad opinions, but he did some good stuff. So that's Royce Hart. That's who they're talking about. Say good day to Neville. You know, I've been waiting to say good day to Neville. I'd love to. Neville? Neville does know everything about the bush. I didn't find an item or learn a skill. He also makes great speeds in his spare time, no doubt. If I can beat him at darts. <laughs> I... I've seen how these guys can throw. Like, even today, in the 60s, yeah. Ain't no way I'm beating Neville at darts. Not happening. Not in this day and age. I... You can't seem to be barehanded unless you actually unequip something. I think. Like, you have to have something in your hands. Or you have to unequip it completely into your backpack. And I don't want to be around without a weapon. Hero. Wait, do I have another mission? I do. Good day, mate. Oh, rats! Clean up some rats. Yeah, can do. Oh, man. Are these going to be like Aussie-sized rats? Ooh, I don't know if I'm ready for Aussie-sized rats. Is a shotgun going to be enough? Jeez. Oh, something spotted me. Something spotted me. What spotted me? What's after me? It's a bit rough that you meant to catch your chickens, because they're like, you supposedly you do it barehanded, but like, it means you have to wander around barehanded, which it doesn't let you do. So, I can't seem to unequip weapons unless I do it like all the way. Alright, we got some rats. Make the cat some rat salad. Can I hit them with a shotgun? I think I'm probably better off doing this. Depends on their size. This might not do it. They're quick too. Oh, they've heard me. I need a good vantage point, otherwise these things going to eat me alive. Ooh, headphones are slipping. There we go. Oh! Oh, they're not so big. They're pretty small ones. Come here, raddies. Rat, 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 raddies. Nah, 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 nah. Get toasted. Oh. Fire's just making them mad, I think. Oh, no, that did it. Get out of it! Got him. Jeez. Glad they're little ones, though. They'll be back. And in greater numbers. Piss off! Fuck off! Get out of it, you mongrels. Well, this is be a good vantage point. I can see him coming. Right? Can't sneak up on me from here, can you? Yeah, scrap-eating little bastards. Come on, get over here. Oh, you 
cowardly bastards. How about you? Come here. Come on, I got limited stamina. Got him. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yep. Yeah. Takes them all a lot of burn to death, but it's still profitable. Oh, who thinks they're clever? Get out of it! Yeah! Ten bucks for a cannon mozzie repellent, considering how bloody good it is, is not a bad deal. Yeah, hey, look at that! One left, I reckon. One left. I think he's gonna be dumb enough to attack me, so I can just get him. Maybe? I'll spot him from here. There he is! Come here! Two of them? I switched the weapons, I guess. Try out the shotgun. Hey! That's about as close as it gets. Still, that Mozart pattern's pretty good. Keep that around. Is that a snake? I'm not ready for a snake. Please, no snakes yet. Is there anything else on me besides a snake? They are too fast. Oh! I heard a goat! Is it dumb enough to attack me even though it's tasty? Oh. Something thinks it's spotted me. I heard a goat. I keep hearing a goat. Where is it? Gotcha! <laughs> Wanna try that when you taste good in a curry? No worries, mate. Drop matches. What are you buying? Huh? Say good day to Nelly? Sure. Use the horseshoe to call her. Alright. Watch myself while crossing the road. Okay. We got as a, I reckon that's an Arabian pony. Could be wrong. If I activate that and then, hey, point. Why am I poisoned, motherfucker? Ah, baby funnel web. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, okay. Inventory. Inventory. Uh, here. Okay, yeah, belt slot, anti-venom, good, I didn't even see that. I was way too eager. Alright, I'll just take you for a short ride, I guess. I don't need the reins, and then I just... Hmm. He rode a blazing saddle, he wore a shining star. Yeah, this ain't bad. Keeps me off the ground, too. Yeah, now that you're alright. Good girl. Might come across a stray collie. Oh! Much better than the dog I got in Zompiercer. A collie who wanders into town now and then. Does he roam in one place? Follow you around and chase anything he can. Good sense of poisonous critters. Oh, does that mean I get like an early warning system for like spiders and snakes if I have the dog? Because that would be grouse. Take a break and try gold panning. Dig it. I'm down. Oh, jeez. Um, can you set me up with, like, another anti-venom kit? I know, like, I got a spare, but, like, seriously, Doc. I have all this money. I'm buying anti-venom. Because it's also a health pickup. Like, I got, I got nothing to lose here. 
and then I'm going to put it right back onto my tool belt. Because of course I am. Alright, now I gotta... Oof. I see where this game is going for. It's got all these little nice ways to make money. I don't know if you guys can hear that. We've got some knockoff Akadaka going in the background. It's playing a knockoff version of Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll. That is a nice touch. And I just noted they're watching The Pool on TV. Or on the telly. I'd say I'm going to stop with the Australianisms, but I'm not. This is the thing. It gives you all these neat ways to make money, but then you're just... Oh, what spotted me? What spotted me? Oh, Jesus. Mozzies! Fuck off! What spotted me? Like, there's all these ways to make money, so you want to go out and make the money, but... Every time you go out, something's gonna get you. Oh god, it's nearly sundown. Okay, if I'm going for if I'm going for the gold, 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 gold for Australia, I better work fast because I do not want to be here when the sun goes down. I don't care if they are the boys from the bush and they're back in town. Okay, we've got panning for gold. I wonder if we're gonna get opal noodling, cause. Jesus. That barra... That barra was so big I could have just fucking shot it. Don't even need to fish. Hey! Come here, boy. No, no, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. Here. Yeah! Pat the dog. Right on. Alright, I guess I'll pass some gold before the sun goes down. Uh... Oh! Oh, there's way more to this mechanics than I would have thought. Alright, so... I gotta shake the rocks out while keeping the gold in. It's not just... I could just pick up the gold, but... Come on, get out there. I gotta get most of the rocks out. I hear footsteps and I don't care for it. Okay, uh... To the left. To the right now. Pack it up now. Okay, I'm losing some of my gold, but if I can get more gold... Rocks than gold, more gold than rocks, and I'm okay. But back, 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 back. Yes, S is pan back. Come on. Yeah! See? 98 gold. Nothing to it. Right, I am friggin' out of here. I am not gonna be here when the sun goes down. I made $94 worth of gold. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I am fucking out of here. I'm going to bed. This place is scary enough during the day. Oh fuck, someone spotted me. What spotted me? There's fucking goats everywhere. I want to get back to me fucking house. Turn me torch on. Oh, oh that's my belt. Ah, oh, you press T. You press T to activate your torch, not F for your flashlight. Yeah. You would not believe how many times I've nearly said the C word. I've just managed to avoid it because now I'm on YouTube. But I assure you, it's been on the tip of me tongue every time. Okay, I'll click another mission, then I'm going home. It's going great, mate. Master? Time to fly? Are you for real? This game is front loaded. A chopper, really? The Channel 7 chopper. What do we got? Alright, uh, some of these are a little more contemporary. Ah, oh, you see this? This imitation one, sorry. I'll shine a, shine a, oh, it doesn't really show up. Doesn't really show up. But this one here, where it's like yellow, white, yellow, and it's got like a red seal on it, that is meant to be Bundaberg rum and coke on tap. Pre-mixed. So you just pull the lever, you get a perfectly mixed rum and coke. As is the way. Yeah, see ya, mate. I'm not... I'm not doing no more missions at this... No, no, open the gate, open the gate. Open the gate. I don't want to die. I'm going to bed, and I'm going to tackle this. Yeah, dawn's fine. 
Whoop. Whoop. Okay, it doesn't make me wait. I appreciate that. Reload the shotting. Apparently, this early in the game, I'm already... Uh, can I stop crouching? This early in the game, I'm already getting into a helicopter. Which is... Let's be honest. Pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Should have bought more Mozzie repellent. Oh. This game captures the Outback sense really well in his ways that you don't want to ignore what's around you for too long. Because everything, or well, not everything, but most things here aren't ugulants, which is to say they got soft fucking feet. Which means, first of all, they don't damage the grass, which is nice. Uh, but also, uh, it means they can fucking sneak up on you. They'll be on you before you can say, Ridgy did, you bastard. Just like that. Got a chopper. Uh, <laughs> chopper with no thing. Uh, a fuel bears was nearby. Oh shit, just fill it up from that then. How much money do I have? Still, I'm losing. Where's my, where's my money? I got hundred eighty-two dollars. Let's just make sure this thing doesn't run out. Fuck it. And I'll add some of my own fuel. What am I doing with it? Okay. Want to be specific about it? All right, looking good. What are the controls, though? What are the controls? What are the controls, you bastards? All right, just a second. <laughs> uh, why do I not get controls specific for the helicopter? Just figure it out. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> da -ba -da -da -ba <laughs> okay, in all fairness, it seems to control pretty intuitively. Na 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 na. How do I? What the? Yeah, stuff running across your windscreen is about right, if I'm honest. Better drink some water, honestly. There we go. I feel like there should be a way to make this thing go faster. I wish I had the instructions. I do not. I... Give me some instructions on this game, man. Okay, you know what, you know what. Hold on a second. Let's just... I realize this is an unconventional stream. Just, we're going to sit on this pause screen. I am going to look up how to fly the chopper online. Because I didn't think this was going to come up. I was kind of figuring they'd actually give me some instructions. Okie dokie. Okay. Chopper. Uh, oh, chopper. I get it. Like, chopper read. <laughs> That's why they're calling it a chopper. Even though it's only an American term. Did wonder. Anyways. Uh, chopper controls. Australia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, chopper Australia is such a common use term. Okay, here we go. Key binds, your and pitch goals. Uh, no, that's not for that game. Hmm. Alright, guys, we're just gonna have to try and error this shit. Unless there's an extra section on key bindings. 
This is just for... Yeah, this is literally just for being on uh, land. <sighs> okay. Let's get to it. No one needs controls. Do if I press crouch, will I go down? I seem to be lowering a little bit when I hold crouch. Am I lowering? Because, I mean, I'm pitching forward to move, but I don't... Oh, here we go. If I press shift, I move quicker. Whoop. See, Daisy. Okay, I've got a nice clearing here that I can land in. That'd be nice. Whoop! Camera jumped. Okay, so... Theoretically, once that turns into a 1, I should just start lowering, right? 2... Now, if I just hold down C... Oop, down I go. Get me out of this thing. Jesus. Okay, there's a gate I got open here. Cool, yes, good. Great. What the... What saw me? What saw me, what saw me, what saw me? Was it just my dog? Because it's okay if it's just my dog. Come on, a storm. You're going to make me fly the chopper in a storm? What? What's that noise? I could have sworn I just heard a kangaroo. Oh, and there's a storm. Whoa, you? <laughs> what? Bushfire? Jesus. Okay, yeah. We are go. We are. We are leaving. Thanks to the randomly generated storm jerks. I mean, this is Australia. The fact that I haven't died yet probably irritates the game. Drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. And yeah, that was a giant mozzie. Get me out of this bloody weather. Thank you. Comes quick, comes and goes nice and quick. I'll give it that. Give it that. All right, I'm at the cattle station. Hey, I'm. Um, hmm. That sounds fun. I hope I don't have to do that. Because I'm not thrilled about that idea. Dingoes. I heard a dingo howl. People don't take dingoes seriously, you know. There's that whole thing where everyone's like, Oh, ha ha, this woman's saying a, a dingo's got her baby. Uh, and then they were like, oh, she's lying. And it turns out it was completely true, and it was actually very tragic. Giant mozzie! Fuck off! Oh, he's barking. I don't like it. What have you seen, mate? There's cow pats everywhere. Whoa! Okay. I don't like shooting dogs, but dingoes are way more dangerous than people realize. Like, way more. Jesus. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, bleeding. Um, 
Let's get out of here. I... Yeah, he's already growling at something else. Yeah, saw a big red. Jeez. And I'm nearly out of fuel. Wait, where am I going? Right, that way. Oh, I'm gonna run out of fuel. I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Drop down! I'm telling you to drop down. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. Come on, move. Oh, this is gonna be close. Knew I should have given it a full tank. I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna be gliding for the last bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop us down, mate. No worries, mate. Nothing to it. Not gonna land on the building or nothing. Come on. Down we go. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah. We're good. I didn't crash nothing. Chopper's fine. Not using that again unless I'm forced to. Jesus. It's me and dog. What saw me? I'm scared of everything. Maggie's. Gotta get to the pub. Gotta feel safe again. G'day. Yeah, g'day. No more jobs like that. Fishing! Ooh. Fishing, eh? Now you're speaking me language. Grab some bait from the freezer in Burke. Alright. Tell you what, though. I mean, I realise I'm being a nervous Nelly. Just gonna keep on stocking up on supplies, just cause. I mean, it's what I got the money for, so I'm grabbing another anti venom. A couple of bonds of bandages. A regular bandage. Or mozzie guard, just cause. I realize I'll never be able to afford the SLR if I keep spinning like that, but jeez. Keeping it dangerous. Right, so where's Nelly then? Yeah, see ya. Yeah, what else am I do? Whoopsie daisy. Reckon I might drink some of my water. And refill the water bottle. Yeah. Take the horse. Ooh. The horse can be spooked, but you might be onto something. It does keep me off the ground. I like the idea. Taking the horse. All right, Nelly. Gee up. Um, where where are we going? We're going to book, supposedly. Where's that? Is there a map button? Oh, there. That's where Burke is. Whew. Okay. It's a bit of a journey. It's a bit of a journey, but. Oh, I see. It is on the map. Oh, let's go then. Yeah! Okay. She doesn't handle quite as well as I do, but... It's all good us through it. And hey, we'll save money on water this way. Yeah, now it's traveling. I like this. This makes me think of... Whoa, 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 whoa! Nelly, what? She must have seen something scary. Well, she keeps deviating. Oh, jeez. Easy, girl. Easy. I know it's scary out here. 
This reminds me of, um, I reckon it's Daggerfall, right? Daggerfall? Daggerfall. Yeah, I ain't paying for no ferry into Burke. Not when I got a trusty steed like Nelly. God, I gotta say, uh, these hills, the little patches of like blue green low scrub on the red sand. Mwah! No notes. Perfect. Huh. Got a little fuel station here. Let's take a little look see around. Someone might have left their cash here. Good girl, wait here. Hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty. Oh, oh, it's a horse station. So if I'm part way and you run away for some reason, you still got me covered. Oh, can refill my water bottle here. I think. I realize I'm doing the hydration thing a lot, but call it instincts. Accurate instincts. Right. Oh, I can climb this one. Jeez. Yeah, a bit of RP7 will fix that up. WD-40, your choice. Hmm, nothing doing in this place, just a horse shed. That's fine, that's fine. Good to know. Gee up, Nelly. There's going to be a flood. Just kidding. So many dingoes, though. I want none of that. Ooh. What have we got here? Yuccas? Banana trees? Oh, here we go. Hit a point of no return. Got to find another way around. These cliffs are no good. Oh, oh, too many reptiles, Nelly. Oh, God. Easy, girl. Easy, easy. Don't run us off a cliff. What's worse? A lizard? Or a broken skull? I mean, this is nice, though. The little sounds they get so right. That's what's doing it, you know? Besides, the journey's part of the point, right? i got to say, so far, pretty impressed. Oddly terrifying game. Can't explain exactly how. Life hasn't truly been in danger yet, but Christ, it always feels like it's gonna be. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I'm enjoying the accuracy of this. It's... I realise I'm not commenting on much. I think it's because they're getting so much right. It's one of the things where I guess the more they get right, the less you even notice. It just blends in. It's the little bits, like about the speech, the architecture, the scenery, the little dry grass and the colour of the sand. It's like just... They're getting so much right, it, I don't even notice it. just feels like a very effective Australia simulator. Even the weeds. The weeds are accurate. Jeez, this would have cost me a fortune if I'd transported here. Glad I took the horse. What a good horse. Ah, oh, these big open plains. Had a pommy for mate once. Took him camping and he insisted upon sticking his hand in every bloody hole he found. He never paid for it. He was just one of those guys, you know, you'd see like the crescent moon shape in the sand be like, oh, what's that? It's like, okay, well, first of all, it's a scorpion. Not gonna fucking kill you, but... Maggies! Magpies! Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was you or me. You made your choice. Whoa, is this another place I can stay? Or is this just the bait? Oh, hang on. Mosquitoes! Piss off! Alright, get to new area, so you gotta try and kill me now, is that it? That's how it goes, I haven't died yet. Not good enough. Jesus. I saw another baby funnel web just running around out there. Is there a place I can... There's 
So much dingo howling. I didn't believe them. I didn't believe them at first when they talked about how scary this game was, but it absolutely is that scary. You don't suppose. Drop bears? They wouldn't put drop bears in this game. They wouldn't be so heartless. Truly terrifying. Would they put drop bears in this? I'm reloading just in case. Ah, hello, Captain. We are playing incredibly accurate Australia simulator. Oh, jeez. I have such a bad feeling. The music just changed. 20 bucks? Get in! Bait supplies? Uh... I don't know. Just some bait in general, yeah? Yeah. Oh god, there's a storm. Grab the fuel. Uh -oh. Fucking Melbourne weather. Oh! Red back. Under the house. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Is that a snake? Did I hear a snake? What's going on? There's too much long grass. What is it? Is it insects? Get out of it. Jesus. This place. I'm just trying to get from one place to another and I'm terrified the whole time. Boy, oh, I just... Backpack a second. Keep stuff handy, yeah? Keep stuff handy. Easy does it. Wait, wait, wait! It doesn't pause when I'm in the menu? Get toasted, you fuck! Your barbecue! Okay, so... Good to know. Pause menu. Doesn't... Inventory menu doesn't pause the game. Good to know. Piss off! Piss off! Get out of it! Just trying to get around. Fuck me. Guess I should be grateful the spider didn't get me? I guess it was a huntsman. Not much venom there. Do I just need to take the horse everywhere? That doesn't feel right. <sighs> I don't like how much barking you're doing. Come on, Bluey. Oh. Here we go. I should have reloaded. I better make this count. Bastards. Whoa! Why is it... You shit. Why are there so many spiders here? Why why are they so small? They sneak up on me too much. Ugh. You know what? I, if I go back for Nelly, I'm just going to face more danger. Let's just get this done, then get out of here, and then I'll regret ever not taking a horse everywhere ever again. Whew. What spotted me? I am super freaked that the pause menu doesn't. <sighs> Rabbit? Was that a rabbit? Get in! I got nothing against killing rabbits. Alright. Let's try and do something nice. Just do a bit of fishing, shall we? Bloody hell. Yeah, I am well thirsty. Thirsty even for me. I can't believe how thirsty I am. It's those spider bites, man. Fortunately, I frequently fill up my canteen. What? <laughs> Jesus. Fucking wild hogs, are you kidding me? 
Uh, uh, uh. Not that. Oh, Jesus. Piss off! I'm just trying to go fishing. You bastards. Okay. Uh, bonds of bandage. Yeah, um, use that. Bloody hell. Can I just go fishing? That's all I want to do. Jesus. <laughs> right, yeah, okay, fishing, great. Wild pigs, man, come on. Sure, I tasted that. You ever had wild boar sausage? It is a time. Oh. Okay, so I just sort of throw it out there and to tap. Okay, you throw it out. I am tapping the last mouse button. Oh, I see. God, that's quick. Jeez. Okay, yeah. Not a lot of time to... Hey! Okay, so I can just spam quick. That's fine. That changes things. What is where it goes, though? Oh, I dig it. I got a glitchy fish. Eh, yeah, might as well do a little. I just don't get it, like... Where do I have to... Whoop! Where's that going? Alright. Got him. Okay, nothing's attacking me. So, like, while I'm in the fishing mini game, am I safe? That'd be a nice thought. Don't feel safe. Yeah, okay, I've got a few fish. While I could do this all day, I still don't want to be here when the sun's down. So, I press E to exit, and then I run like fuck, and I forget about this dark and dangerous place. I'm going to die. I can feel the game is really resentful of the fact that it's, I'm playing an Australia simulator and haven't died yet. It's super pissed. It's going to start throwing worse and worse things at me. I can feel it. Wild boar sausage... Smoked wild boar, wild boar ham. Uh, seriously, creatures out here are being very unwise attacking me when so many of them, if not all of them, taste amazing. Looking at you, Skippy. You have the same effect as my other dog. In as much as your footsteps keep on freaking me the fuck out. What's seen me? What's seen me? See, I never should have left me yours. Never, 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 never. What's seen me? What's seen me? Fuck off. This is going to be a very sweary episode. I think that's just how it is. There's no getting around that. Nelly, I am so sorry I ever did anything without you. 
That goats. Some goat want to try it. Is that it? Some goat getting ideas. Your mutton chop. I guess you're not mutton, are you? You goat. Still, tastes better. Yeah, let's get out of here. Jesus! Okay. Yeah. Good bandages. Jesus, H. Mahogany. Two wild pigs in one day? I mean, I'm grateful for the money, but... Sink me. Let's get out of here. Seriously. Oh, Jesus. The constant howl of the dingo. I get, like, if you see a dingo, you're not necessarily fucked. But it's not good. Now... Nah. Oh, Jesus. I know that sound. Faster, Nelly. That was a drop bear. Oh, no, it's just a pig. Phew. Sorry. The grunts they make are really similar. <sighs> you know, I, I should give them more credit. They wouldn't be big enough bastards to put a drop bear in the game. Better keep this thing reloaded. I am glad I took the pump action. I was considering taking the revolver because it was cheaper. I'd be dead by now. This shotgun is a beaut. It's true blue. Good stuff. You ripper. It's a corker. It's corker clears, guys! Nelly, how could you? Come on. Nelly, please. Nelly. Nelly, you can't do this to me. She threw me off. Well, better hope I can make the rest of this journey on my, on my own, or at least until I can get to the... Uh... I think I'm fucked, mates. I think I am so fucked. I didn't think she would throw me off. The sun is going down. There is something in the water. Where was that station? Fuck off! Get out of it! Well, I don't have enough problems. Where was that uh, horse station? Oh, look at the look at the sun. It's moving. This is wrong. This is so wrong. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! If I can just get to that horse station, I can get Nelly back. But I gotta get to that horse station. I gotta survive that first. Was it around here? Look at that. Look at that shadow movie. I do need a drink. I've been running a lot. Fortunately, I've been refilling my canteen the whole time. This, I will say, I have been in the bushland and lost. When the sun's been going down. Can confirm. Fucking terrifying. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I think. I think this might be the scariest game I'm ever going to play. It's hard to explain. It's just. It's just real enough. Just barely. Oh man, stamina. Give me that stem, Alexa. Oh god. I'm going to die out here. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Look at that. Look at that sun going down. It was dangerous enough. Also, also, bunch of stuff in Australia. 
only comes out at night. I'm glad to only be hearing chickens. What spotted me? I am nothing like close enough to civilization. I can feel it. Can? Wait, can I do fast travel? Oh, oh, I'm really close. I'm really close. Fuck it. Fuck it, we bore. I can do this. I'm nearly home. Fast travel is a thing for another day. Holy... Get out of it! Got no time for your shit. Oh god, I just want to go home. Get me to the pub. Let me sell me fish. Let me sleep this off. Compass. Oh, Wills! Cooper's Creek. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I gotta track down a compass. Fucking bonzo. Wait. I think I might sleep first. I might sleep first. I might visit the dock. G'day. Yeah, good day. Buy some bonzo bandages. Some more bonzo bandages. Uh, stamina elixir. Anti venom. I know I keep buying anti venom. Just try to be prepared, yeah. Let's actually let's buy some more bandages. Screw it. Bonzer bandage. Bonzer bandage. Bonzer bandage. Cause I'm gonna get hurt. And I'm gonna sleep this off like a bad hangover. Can't believe he wants me to explore Cooper's Creek. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Wild board and whiskey, now you're talking. Let's get that bonzer bandage in the slot. Nice. Nice. Let's see if I can get Nelly back. How are we doing for time? How's chat doing? Yeah, the torch isn't a bad idea. It was actually a point of confusion. Um, uh, something that, uh, Fisk didn't know for years, uh, is that, you know, a torch and a flashlight are the same thing. So when she was listening to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and, um, Arthur Dent was talking about having to go down the basement with a torch, she had the mental image that he actually had to go down there with a burning stick, and she thought that was pretty funny. Just added to the effect, really. That is some good imitation act. Oh, there's bait supplies here. Why'd you send me to the next town for base supplies? Bastards. Eh. Uh, I did enjoy the fishing. Think I'll do it again. Alright. Let's see if we can't get Nelly back. That's the way to travel. Nelly! Let's do this. We're heading to Cooper's Creek. Oh, oh, am I some sort of drongo? I didn't refill my water bottle. I am some sort of drongo. What was I thinking? Or do I take the chopper? Hmm. Refill the chopper, take the chopper to Cooper's Creek? That could be pretty cool. Although, I did sort of promise myself I wouldn't get back in the chopper in a fucking fit. I stand by that. So what do we think? Horse of... Um... I got more than one dog now? Because I'm okay with that. So what do we reckon? Horse chopper. Horse chopper. Horse chopper. Uh, I'm thinking horse. 
Yeah, it makes sense. You auto drink when you refill your water bottle. That makes sense to me. I'm thinking horse. I'm thinking horse. It's cheaper. She's a good girl. It's only 17 away. Let's go to find a compass from the not particularly well planned Birken Wills expedition. Where I think it wasn't entirely their fault. Like they were more writers than explorers, but I think I could have this wrong. I think that's the one where they packed a grand piano and not enough water. It's like a grand piano or a gong or something uh, when they're trekking through the Australian outback. Not particularly smart, if I'm honest. This soft white sand. Holy shit, I can feel that. I can feel that between my toes. It's the little things. Like, I realise again, it's the texture of the bark. It's the specific reeds. All of this. Fuck, even the rocks. The sort of rocks. Like, I realise this is like an odd thing to comment on, but... They're getting so much right here in the landscape. And the sounds, my god, those sulfur crests. Oh, wow. So, Corellas? No, sulfur crests. I hear that sound a couple of times a day during the spring. They'll leave these trees looking like a fucking fish skeleton when they're done with it. Look, can I do... That looks like it's harvestable, right? Jesus. Yeah, tea tree. Bit of bloody Skyrim. Can use it to make bush tucker. Look, don't you throw me off, Nelly. Not into it. We're gonna find that compass. Did you, what was that? Reptiles this way? What's your problem? Put it on, put it on, put it on, put it on. Jesus. Wait, can I hunt on horseback? That'd be amazing. Bloody hell, giant ants! Get out of it! Whew. Didn't want any of that. That's too close to home. Some of those ants, when they bite you, it feels like you're being fucking stabbed. Or shot. Just, or punched? It's a big hit. It doesn't feel like a little bite. This soft white sand. Ah, oh, perfection. It's like this because back in the day, and probably sometimes a year, and if it's a good year, all of this is underwater. That's why the sand looks like that. Jesus. Yeah, sure enough, two dogs. That was a brand of alcoholic lemonade back in the day. Or... So, uh, where's the compass at? Do I have to dig for it? It's not letting me pick up the shovel. So many dingoes. It's haunting in a way. Uh, look for a white rock nearby the tree. Okie dokie. That's... Is that white enough? Well, especially. White rock. White rock near the tree. I see, this is probably driftwood. All of this, yeah. White rock, white rock, white rock near the tree. Is that white? It's pretty white. I feel like it's pretty white. Red always points north. Alright. I'm down. Oh, it auto saves. That's pretty cool. Well, we've got a town here. May as well look around, right? Might be some cash. Oh. Going there and Nelly, though. Never going to leave Nelly too far behind again. What do we have here anyway? Some sort of some sort of cattle station? I guess there's another spot for Hmm. Then I'll get too comfy. Oh Horse station. Very nice. Let's look around. Watch out for the long grouse. Oh. 
Ja. <sighs> I don't think Fisk can play this game. Bloody Huntsman. They give you the fright, but they're not that dangerous. Seven bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, what are you barking at? Holy shit, what is that? Now he's running. What the? Oh, it was unloaded. Bug here. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's bad. What are they barking about? Holy shit. What's going on? Can I sleep in this bed? Is that, is that safe? Oh, King Brown. What was that running off into the bushes, though? It can't be. It couldn't be. God, they were barking up a storm. What? What? What is it? God, it freaks me out when you guys run around like that. Oh god, they're growling at something. High ground, high ground. Whoa! Ha! Ah, I didn't get it. Ah, Jesus, it's fast. Ah, top of the water tank. Inside the water tank, don't want to be here either. Can I get onto the roof? I'd like to be on the roof. Okay, that's better. I gotta start thinking high ground. Oh, wouldn't that be reload? Why not? Uh, do I have to equip the shotgun ammo? I guess. Did that do something? Oh boy. I have to summon Nelly back. Someone spooked her good. What was that though? Whatever it is, I'm glad my dogs scared it off. I want to get all the dogs. We gotta go to full harot on this. God, I feel like I'm in tremors gonna die up here you know what you know what it's time to take Nelly and find some place that's actually safe and then never look back um, send me a like write a comment if there's any if you want to see more of this I'm giving it a try out this is I'm content to have this just being a game that I play in my spare time But if you do want to see more, I'll be glad to keep giving it a shot, even if it is actually pretty scary. For me. Nelly, let's get out of here. We are... We are leaving. We are heading for that. Nelly. Nelly. Oh god, there's something out there. She is freaking out. But oh, Can't keep her on track. What is going on? There must be reptiles everywhere. She is... Deviating. Get us out of here, Nelly. Come on. Don't you throw me off again. I'll be so pissed. If it's a cliff, just stop. Don't stop and throw me. But yeah, I'll end it here for now. I feel like I've gotten a bit of a taste of it. Uh, this is really fun. The gunplay is satisfying. I like that it gives the opportunity of lots of different fun ways to make money. That's pretty cool. Do not worry. When I resume playing games that aren't this one, uh, I will drop the accent. It's a temporary thing. I can't help it. I look around, I see the trees, I see the sand. I see everything trying to fucking kill me and it just comes back. It just, it's just natural. Even if it doesn't sound it. Ah! Oh, the mighty heels hoist. Now there is a clothesline.
Why does anyone do anything different? I don't know. It must be Drongos. It's efficient. It's sturdy. Oh boy. Barkeep, you're not going to believe this. Min Min Light. Near the Termite Mounds. Yeah, alright. That's a thing for another day. North of the pub. Alright, that sounds pretty grouse, but for now we are calling it a day. Save and continue. For those of you wondering at home, I am playing on the easy setting. And yes, this is the cute goblin convention. It's the one in Australia, so no one showed up. Gur, What's gur? Ah, uh, don't chase him off, he's tasty. Come here. Ah, uh, you guys are too good at your job. What? Oh, you're back! You're curry, mate. You're madras. Oh, boy. 40... Kilometers away. Fuck that. That's the thing. That's a job for tomorrow. Right. If you enjoyed yourselves, let me know in the comments below, and we'll have a yarn about it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. We'll be back next week with more contraband police, and after that, hey, maybe more of this dot throughout. Have you enjoyed yourselves? I know I have. And until next time. My beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Oh yeah, I never tried these chips. They look pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Steak and onion chips and hard solo. Good stuff. Good stuff.